All right, guys, welcome to episode 130 of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me, got the dogs put up. You already know how to fuck with rocking, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit that like button, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we drop. All right, go down, get yourself a little merch. You know what I'm saying? Like your blunt, like your J-Pack, your bomb pack, your bowl, get your edibles ready, your fucking dad bricks, whatever the fuck you're rocking with, man, yeah, we yeah, rocking yeah. with too. Go ahead and get that going. But it's a beautiful Tuesday. We're back. We're back. We're back. How we feeling, Johnny? How we feeling? How we feeling? How we feeling? Oh, man. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. It's part of the fucking uh, routine here. You know what I mean? I'm yeah, it's part good. of the routine to feel fucking good at Dope Talk TV, all right? So if y'all ain't feeling good when you watch us, come back when you're feeling good. Then you need to smoke some weed. <laughs> Yeah, now nah, spark up, spark up. Spark the fuck up. I know you guys are tired, drinking coffee. Whatever the fuck you need, just wake the fuck up, get high. Yeah, drink a bang. Drink you know a what bang. I'm saying? Wink, wink, bang. You yeah. know what I mean? Bang, hit us back. Yeah. Reply to the, the lovely email we sent you. Nah, my but, dog, my yeah, dog's man. hitting the vape and shit right now. You know what I mean? You know Cody. <laughs> you know how Cody is. Cody and my Toby. dog Cody's fucking he's vape king, bro. Well too. Fucking vape kings over there. Fucking Willie boy. I haven't seen Willie in a long time. Yeah, really bro, I haven't seen them boys in a minute, man. I hope y'all boys doing good though, man. For real, for real. Yeah, cause these boys would be working, bro. Like fucking working. Slaving like fucking Mexicans and shit. They pay y'all good. Y'all making money. Nah, yeah, no. Nah. I, I mean, know that. They're the fucking bosses, so yeah. of course they get paid fucking good. You better. If not, yeah, I'd be bitch, if not, I'd be like, what are you doing? Nah, bro. <laughs> they took me for a fucking ride on like their, their four wheeler and shit. Took me around town and shit, whatever. And their little fucking cul-de-sac that shit was cool bro that shit was different yeah bro it's different living in the country man that's like that's like a goal of mine to live in some acreage you get some acreage and live in the middle of fucking nowhere leave me alone i didn't know how how big five acres were until i saw it yeah five acres is a decent amount of fucking land decent. bro you, you, decent could, you, could put, you could do the whole fucking county fair in that bitch if you wanted yeah. to i mean i don't know about that no it it's that big, bro. Nah. Like, I'm not playing that, with you, bro. bro. Nah. nah. I've seen it. I've been there. But it's like the whole county fair? Uh, uh, may, well, yeah, maybe. Our county fair is pretty fucking small. It's pretty trash. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 yeah, it is. That's what I'm saying, bro. But yeah, bro. Like, we were just chilling there. They have like a little fucking, like, he has a lot of land with like a garage and a fucking lift. Mm -hmm. I was like, bro, that's a blessing. That's a fucking... Hey, bro, but you worked his ass off for that shit. Man. Nah, for real. Took time. grinding, bro. Took like, what, four years, fact, five bro, years? This is what we're about to do right now. Yeah, Round of yeah. applause. Yeah. Round of applause to my boy, man. He fu he fucking worked his ass off. And he got and it. his wife. He you got know what I'm saying? And they fucking got what they worked for. You know what I mean? And that's all it takes in life sometimes is just fucking work, consistency, and having the goal. Yeah. And not fucking estraying from it. You know and what I mean? He got that woman, though, you know, to stick by his side. Like, yeah, you know, that's and that's big. important. Bro, people don't understand, like, a lot of these fucking millionaires and billionaires, bro, they have, like wives like they fucking have wives bro like yeah when shit starts to get serious a lot of things change bro a lot of things change when you really really start to get fucking serious that's you know a fucking what i mean fact, bro. like i don't know about you but like when you're scrolling down instagram and you see all these pictures you know what i mean yeah you know, man it's naked. nice it's nice to look at some sandy cheeks sometimes yeah and you're you know like oh I mean? she's bad bro fuck yeah you know what yeah. i mean it's nice to see bro you know but then Fetch. like or you see a girl walking past you and you got some eye candy you're like oh okay okay mm -hmm. she wearing some booty shorts or something and right. then, like, you know, you, you get into a serious relationship with this girl and she has pictures like that, then it's not cool anymore. Yeah, like, you're just yeah. not feeling the same about him when you're seeing fucking Ricky, Jimmy, and fucking Bobby over there. When you see Ricky, Jimmy, and fucking Bobby <laughs> coming down to the pictures like, yo, like, you know, some people don't give a fuck, you know? Some yeah, people are like, fact. oh, stop being insecure. <laughs> like, just being insecure. But it's just like... I don't feel like... I feel like it is to a certain extent. Yeah, like, some guys is. take it too far. Yeah, a little bit too far. But at the same yeah. time, I feel like... It's disrespectful to be even to even open the door for other men like that when you're in a relationship and vice versa. Same thing with like it goes both ways. A lot of these things is not just like a man woman like a woman type thing. Like it's disrespectful for a man to disrespect his wife or woman by you know what I'm saying like just opening the door for other women. Yeah. You know? Like that's just how I feel about it. Yeah, yeah, you and know, I but. feel like it's just like a for like a for sale sign that's like posted on your pictures when you when you just show off like that sometimes. Like it depends on how much. I'm talking about like dongs and you know, listen, bro. Like if, it's it's different. If like, you get paid for it, 
Like, do your fucking thing. Oh, if you're bringing in the bread for doing that, maybe do take your all the pictures. Thing. Yo, you Victoria's Secret model? Yeah, Go ahead, do like, your thing. Do like, your thing. Yeah. But if you're just doing that on Instagram for, for likes. attention. For likes. Attention. Exactly. It's attention that, exactly. that they're really looking for. Exactly. At the end of the day. Likes equals attention. Yeah. How much attention did I get today? Yeah. How many strokes? 180 fucking likes is like, a fucking attention. Like, like Jay fucking calls it. He's like, the, every like is a stroke. You know, in psychology, yeah. they call that a stroke. That You know, it makes stroke them feel good. fucking like, clitoris. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, you're so pretty, stroke. <laughs> fucking, oh my God, you're so sexy, stroke. You see what I'm saying? You stroke. <laughs> You feel me? But that's crazy, bro. Like psychology is crazy on how the brain works. Yeah, it's, that's it's a fact. the brain is a powerful a thing. Fact. Brain is a powerful fucking thing, bro. Yeah, the brain is a powerful thing. Like man. Drake said, the mind is a power. I forgot what song, man. Drake says a lot of things. Yeah, like, you can fucking yeah. quote life yeah. with Drake. Me and Drake <laughs> were talking about Drake yesterday, and we we're like, bro, we hate him and we love him at the same time, bro. <laughs> Listen, and it's bro. just like, I know I love him, bro. I think he's I think he's great, but he's an actor. People forget that. That's a fact. He's an actor. You have a gremlin going off in your fucking <laughs> I got this a gremlin. You got fucking the Tasmanian double over there. He's like, oh. <laughs> nah, he's pissed because I fucking left his ass fucking yesterday. He's such a needy fuck, bro. Yeah. He's been alone for 10 minutes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and he's already crying and shit. He cries like a human, guys. Don't get a Frenchie, bro, because they'll fucking cry like a little Frenchies, baby. Frenchies, you got you to gotta be rich and you got to be by him all fucking day long. Yeah. Like, it's weird, bro. It's, it's fucking so, weird. Yeah. That nigga's tackling the door. <laughs> but listen, man. Listen, guys, words only matter when you match it with your actions, right? There's a lot of people that talk a lot of shit, but actions is what really matters, bro. When you're younger, it's easier to fall for fucking words because sometimes the person it's coming from, it's believable. You're like, oh, yeah, whatever. But always watch actions, man. Actions will really fucking tell you. you yeah. Know what I mean? like, actions, man. Actions. Is Somebody could tell you. I don't know something on uh, uh, how important uh, our relationship. I could just be like, "Yo, hey, like, yeah, I said your real name." <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck. That's nah. my real name. Okay, I didn't know for doing them. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But anyways, but I could just be like, "Yo, hey, like, you're my dog." You know what I mean? You're my brother. But then, like, the actions behind it doesn't show. Like, there's certain things like, like, damn, like, I need my, I need my dog to pick me up, bro. I'm fucking out in the yeah, middle of nowhere, facts. but I need, I need. I need to depend on you. You know what I mean? Like, you know, it's just those. Are, and yeah, yeah, bro. And it's not even like that might sound like, yo, like I need some in return for my foot. But it's like, that's no. just what real friends do, bro. Yeah. Like, it's like you what? call me at fucking midnight, bro. Hey, bro, I, I need you. Hey, bro, I'm there. If you know what I'm saying, if, if I'm your real, if I'm a friend, I'm a real friend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying the actions like the actions yeah, that, that because like, like what is a friend? Really speak. Like, actions speak louder than, <clears throat> than fucking words and friends will be there through whatever bro they'll be there through your ups through your downs like those are your real fucking friends you yeah know what i mean but and you're gonna go through a lot of them yeah facts i feel like it's a cycle like every seven years i swear like every seven years it's like a new shift a new cycle fucking friends that yeah. come through and friends that leave and like it's just life man it's the cycle of life but you know it's crazy that like Life, like we're gonna meet a lot of other people too that are gonna become close to us in the of future. Of course, you there's people I mean? that like, we haven't met yet that we're gonna be best friends with in like ten years. Yeah, we're gonna be like, oh my god, where the fuck this guy been? For real, this fucking guy over here, he's my fucking twin. <laughs> I swear to God, bro. Nah, there's a guy that looks just like this dude, bro. I'm not even gonna lie, nah, bro. bro. Yeah, there's a guy. I see, yo, one of my boys, right? One of my boys. Shout out to Trey, man. This nigga. <laughs> Was riding around with a guy. I was like, "Bro, did you take like a fucking hair sample of me? Yeah, yeah a cologne. Clone bitch. my shit, bro. My dog got a clone. <laughs> He's like Gucci, bro. They cloned his ass, bro. It's so fucking creepy. Weird, it's bro. so creepy, and it's weird. crazy because I know the guy. I don't know his name, but I went to school with him. And I remember him, and I would yeah. always see him. I'm like, bro, this guy looks just like my dog. <laughs> bro. He's probably a fucking dick. You know what I mean? You don't know, bro. That's a fact, bro. Nah, but there's a lot of people that look the same. Like there's, I'm pretty sure that yeah. we're all connected in a way, bro. We're literally <laughs> all connected, bro. Like, like, listen, everything on this earth is connected. That's why sometimes you feel weird, man. You'll be, you'll be like, something's off. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, man. Vibrations on this earth don't lie. Yeah. Like there's certain places on earth where you go and you're just like, something's off here. Something like, is something's off. Something's off here. The energy's off. Like. I don't know. I, I I'm a big believer in fucking vibrations like that, bro. Like you gotta listen to to what's around you. Nah, dead ass, bro. It's all about water. Like <laughs> the water, oil in the water. 
Oil in the water, man. There was a guy that used to do that, and he died, bro. It's crazy as fuck. He went to school with us, and my boy beat him up. I swear to God. Wait, he died? What happened? Yeah, he, I don't know. I think he, like, fucking overdosed on drugs or something like yeah. that, or, like, got hit by a car. I think it was something like that. As well. Yeah, Darlis, bro. Rest in peace. He saw, yeah, he walked up to us. We were at McDonald's. This was, like, we are like, fucking, like, 20 years old. Fucking my boy fucking whooped his ass when we were, like, fucking 16, 17 years old. So it's been years, and we haven't seen him. And bro, That's and he funny. fucking walks up to us and he's like, oil and water, oil and water, oil and water, bro. What the fuck? No, like, he's like, peace, oil and water. I don't know what that means, I don't but know. bitch, get the fuck away from us talking about some oil and water shit. Yeah, I mean, like, oil and water don't mix, so are we not mixing? That sounds like you're trying to pull one on me, bro, and I'm going to fucking hit you in your jaw. <laughs> I, I, swear, think, I think my dog is trying to fucking set me up or he's trying yeah, to one up like, me. Bro, like you try to distract me while somebody pickpockets no, me or no, some stupid no, you, shit. Imagine those times, bro, being pickpocketed. Like, how do you Yo, even like... That's an art. Like the, Salute to those guys. Ass- but Assassin's if, Creed? No. <laughs> you know what I mean? That guy's like jumping through the fucking... Like, you know when pickpocketing people... Like, nah, bro. There's videos of people being pickpocketed and they don't even notice. Like, there's people that are so fucking good at that shit. They could steal a watch off your wrist. And you not notice. I'm yep. telling you. Nah, somebody do that, bro. But somebody do that, bro. Somebody gets You're not going to notice because think about it. Like, you might look at the time 20 minutes later and you look down and you're like, what the fuck? Yeah. Where the fuck is my watch? Or like oh, your wallet. Like, I, could, I could see that. Like, that's why when I'm like standing up like in a concert or if I'm like somewhere like I'm in a club, like where people are going to be behind me and I know it. I put, I take my wallet or my phone. I put it in my front pocket instead of my, my back because people, it's real easy to slip. Whoop. You dancing, whatever, you bump into somebody, hey, sorry. That's a fact. You see yeah, what I'm saying? Like, no, nah, fuck that. You got to watch yourself. You got to watch yourself. But something that I was watching out for in high school was uh, was them teachers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? shit. Yeah. It's crazy, bro, because every other fucking six months on the news, all you see is a hot-ass teacher and then some kid that was banging her that couldn't keep his fucking mouth shut. Yeah. And I'm just like, bro, I where wish- the fuck was these teachers... When we were in high school, nah, for real, I swear to God, baby, bro. I would have kept it. I, I would have kept it quiet. I listen, promise. listen, baby, <laughs> Miss Carcella. <laughs> you know, I'm just Yo, kidding, nah. people were in love with Miss Carcella. Oh, I love. Her. She was like the youngest teacher she, in school too. She, that is the only teacher that I really, really love to this day. She added me on Facebook, and I was just like, oh my gosh, she remembered yeah, me. Yeah, my dog said he's in there. Nah, but like, I love her. Like that is like my like. That's your baby. Yeah, that's my baby. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's like, your first love. Bro. That's my no, she helped me like get through my first love, bro. I used to cry to her. Be like, <laughs> He's She's like, well, man, this She's fucking like, guy. Nah, bro. I used to fuck Miss Carcella, man. I used to I used to do a lot of shit. I used to keep fucking weed in your fucking closet and shit. Fucking Yeah, why don't you just fucking call the cops on it? Why nah, don't you? No, but she didn't know. Uh, of course. You know what I mean? <laughs> but she didn't fucking know, yeah, but, but yo, this gotta be dry snitching, bro. Nah, bro. It's fucking <laughs> ten years later. What are you gonna? What are you guys gonna do? Fucking, she don't even work there. You know what I mean? Oh fuck. But yeah, man. Like those are one of the teachers that like really fucking cared. She was like the Freedom yeah. Riders teacher. You ever seen that movie, Freedom Riders? Free what? Freedom Riders, the movie. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a great fucking. Movie. Yeah, like that teacher. How she I like love really? Those type yeah, movies. yeah, bro. So like. She wasn't like flirty or anything like that. She was just really, really like she was yeah. there for you. You know what I mean? But like there was a couple like my Spanish teacher. I saw her at the at, at the gym the other day. I was like, wow, you look pretty decent. I'll, I'll probably hit that shit. You know what I mean? Like, but yeah, like where were those teachers when we went to fucking school? Because like and first of yeah, all, I would crazy. shut the fuck up. Yeah, like what? What do you bit? Like, bro, shut up, bro. That is a fantasy that every fucking kid wants. It's not just that, bro. Like. Boo fucking who? Like, yeah. you got some vagina, bro. Like, what, what, what's the problem? It's either, like, your parents found out, and now you feel like you have to fucking say something Man, so you don't look a certain way. I don't know. If my but kid, I, if my fucking he, he, son I comes like, to dog. me, he's like, Dad, I'm banging my hot teacher. I'm going to fucking like, dab him up. I'm so proud of you. Good for you. Shut <laughs> the fuck <laughs> up and don't pictures. tell nobody else what Tanaka's look like. <laughs> Not for real. <laughs> Do not tell nobody, like, bro. Like, don't tell your mother. And don't don't tell your pregnant. mother. Don't tell your sister. Don't tell nobody. Imagine, <laughs> imagine that she gets pregnant and everybody's like, oh my God. Like, imagine your teacher. Because like, you know it, that? It's and such it's a one double of the students. St- it's such a double standard, too, though, bro. Because, like, for example, if it was the other way around, we wouldn't accept that shit. We'd go kill the fucking teacher. If it was like a, a guy teacher banging our fucking daughter. Yeah. We'd go kill the motherfucker. And then, like, 
it's just looked at completely fucking different. Yeah. Right? It is. Because it's fucked up. Like, if she were to play victim, she'd be looked at as a victim. But what, like, what did I just say? He could really be a victim. And we're like, ah, shut the fuck up. I was a cuda. Yeah. I was a you Let me know. Yeah. Let me know. Yeah. Like, we don't give a fuck if you're a guy. Yeah, that's what, how's, you know that, what how's that grown man fucking... I'm not grown man. Grown woman. <laughs> Yo, oh, man. Man. I'll show you a hungry man. <laughs> nah, but I'm pretty sure, bro, like, if my fucking son or if my daughter was getting banged by the teacher, I would fucking kill him. But if my son, that, that, that's it's, what yeah, I mean. Yeah, it's it's like, that's a big double standard, yeah, bro. It's, that's it's, a big double it's standard. Kinda, yeah, it's fucked up. It's fucked up. There's bro. a lot of double standards. Get fucking over it, people. Yeah. It is what it is. That is what All it right? is, man, because. Can't you fucking know, cry men, about it. Men and women are different. No matter yeah, what. Yeah, no matter what the fuck they're trying to tell you nowadays. No, I, no yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you want to do, what you want to say. What you, you want to call equal, yourself you wanna, Ricky or fucking Rosie. You want to equal? You want to be equal? That's not going to fucking happen ever. That would never fucking happen. We'll never yeah, be equal. It, we'll never be equal. We would we never could just be. be fucking. We could just love each other. Yeah, you know what I'm saying we can't that's live. It. We can't live with you, and we can't live without you. And that's a real fucking saying, right that's there. That's real talk. Can't live with you. Can't live without you. Yeah, and that goes both ways. They fucking hate us, but love us. Yeah, like then, you know, one day I'm fucking fighting with my girl, and the next I'm like, you know what? I miss you, baby. I miss you. Yo, people are wild, bro. I miss you. There's niggas that be really like, yo, I'm gonna get a pregnant, bro. Nah, nah, I'm gonna see, get a pregnancy. She don't go nowhere, nah, bro. I know, I know somebody that's done that. My nigga, me too. Few niggas. Yeah. Stupid niggas. And they regret it. <laughs> <laughs> they regret that. You think so you don't want her to go nowhere until you do. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, fuck. And I gotta like, see her every fucking week. For the rest of my life, basically. For 18 years minimum. 18 like, years minimum. You're always going to hear from them. I'm telling you. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Of course. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like on a weekly basis type shit for yeah. like 18 years. Minimum. Yeah. Yeah. After that, it's like y'all might talk to each other once a year when y'all meet up at fucking Christmas or some shit. Yeah. That's about it. Yeah. But, like, you know what I mean? Like it's nothing crazy. Maybe graduations, you know, like yeah, maybe college, like, you know, like <laughs> baby showers, <laughs> you know, so I see like, your fucking life. You have to look at their fucking face <laughs> and be reminded of the night that you never fucking wanted to go through. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, right? But then people always say, oh, no, nah, I don't regret it. I don't regret it. And I'm just like, I, I, I mean, f- like, I, I get them. it. I but if them. I had the choice. Yeah, like, I believe that people say. don't regret having their children because they love their fucking kids. Yeah. But they said, in all if, reality, if they would go back. cut the bullshit. If you could go back to that and yeah. not be fucking pregnant and be in the situation you're in, nine times out of ten, people be like, yeah, fuck that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I don't feel like it's because of the children or anything. It's because of the person that they chose to fucking lay with. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's really what it comes down to. You regret that person. You're like, fuck. I wish I would have never stuck my dick in her. And, that, you know and that's a good leeway to, like, you know, about parents, you know, and parenting. Like, I noticed, like, the older you get, like, you know, like, your parents are not perfect, bro. They're not perfect. And you realize that they didn't know a lot of shit. Yeah. Especially if they had you young and they're still learning. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like... People are not perfect, so I think the best advice, because I'm going through this personally, you know what I mean? Like, throughout, like, growing up and shit like that, like, my dad wasn't really around. My mom was always there for me, you know what I mean? And it's kind of just, like, everybody has their flaws. Like, my mom was there for me, but there was stuff that she did I didn't like. Facts. You see what I'm saying? That's a fact. And it affected my life, but the thing is, is, like, you got to forgive them. That's yeah, the best thing. What are you gonna do? Like not talk only, to them for the rest of your life, and then they die. Hurts you exactly. I only hurt you, bro. You have to. You have to, bro. And I thought like that for a long time, but yeah. it's just it's pain, bro. And it's a lot of anger, and it's a lot of questions, and it's a lot of confusion, and it's a lot of like you want explanations, man. And and when you're younger, bro, the explanation is never good enough. Yep, because you can't fucking understand because you never you never been through shit. Yeah, and you're not so old you're enough thinking, to understand. You're, you're thinking from a fucking you know. Whatever you are, 15, 20, 25, that standpoint, and your parents are already where they're like, son, you'll fucking get it one day. And you get it. Like, you start realizing, like, oh, oh I see maybe why. Maybe I see why yeah. dad wasn't fucking around. I see why dad you know did this. I see why dad was biggity boggity. <laughs> you know what I mean? Biggity boom. But you know? nah, bro, listen, nobody's perfect. Yeah. Nobody's perfect, bro. And, um, yeah, bro. That's one th- one thing I do think my mom for shout out to mommy man is uh she never really like she never talked bad about my dad you know yeah. what I'm saying and I respect that shit whatever the fuck they had going on they had going on she was always the opposite when it came to that she was like yo talk to him 
Yeah. Like, just talk to him. Yeah. I'd be like, fuck that. She'd be like, man, talk to him. Yeah. Like, you're going to want to one day. And it's true. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just happens. But, yeah. And, um, yeah, it's true. My mom would do that, too. But the thing is, she, I, like, I don't know. Some days she'd be like, yo, like, she would get mad because she would be like, yo, like, talk to him. And I would but then he would just wouldn't really respond how she yeah. would want it. And she, then yeah, she would be like, she'd be upset. Oh, and yeah, then over thanks. the years of just being like, all right, now fuck you. Yeah. Like, it fuck you. There. Yeah. Because there's, there's only so many opportunities that you could give somebody before you're like, bro, you're not really trying to do this. So fuck that. Yeah. It's like, yo, you, know you see mean? him like, trying and he's not like, you know what I mean? That's just, you got to learn from it and then just not do it with your kids. Because some yeah, people, that's the they best keep thing the cycle. You could do, bro. That's the best thing you could do, man. You And that's something that we were talking about earlier off camera where it's like, bro, like you, you got to work and set yourself up in a position so that your kids don't go through a lot of the shit you went through. Yep. You know what I'm saying? They'll have their own struggles. Like to me, I'd rather have my kid have the, the struggles that like a more privileged person has than to have the struggles that we had, nigga. Like, yeah. There's shit that we saw when we were younger, bro. That kid shouldn't be fucking seeing. Kid shouldn't be fucking doing. Kid shouldn't be fucking going through. Yeah. But you're put in a situation at a fucking young age, 15, 16, you know what I'm saying, to where you you have to do certain shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's like. Well, you just didn't have the right path, you know? Yeah. You don't have the right. You don't have the right. Uh, the right opportunities around. The right that, opportunity. That really yep. plays a part. Like people always minimize problems you know what i'm saying and they'll be like oh well you know like just go do this go do that and it's like well that area isn't set up for that they don't have jobs there like that and the jobs they do have are taken up they might have one walmart in the whole fucking city <clears throat> what jobs are there yeah you see what i'm saying well, they like, just they just hang around the wrong crew and that happens they're too. influenced by, that happens by other too. people and so if you're not going to be there then they're going to be influenced by somebody else yeah, bro. And that's, and that's, just, what, that's just what that's the life, a fact. You know? And that's that's where parenting comes into play, man. You got to fucking play your part. You got to watch what your kids are into, watch what they're doing, and try your hardest to be in their fucking life. You know what I mean? Straight the fuck up. Dead ass, bro. It's but parenting, bro. That's parenting another- comes down to it, man. That's why it's uh, this situation you brought up to me today. I didn't even know about it, but you know, there was a kid that was being bullied in school by multiple people. Yeah, they I actually got the article. Time. Yeah, go ahead. I got the article right here. So, family of teen. Suspected in Texas high school shooting. He said he's been bullied. He's been robbed, right? So basically this kid, Timothy George Simpsons, he's 18 years old. He was charged with three counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon after shooting at Timberview High School in Arlington, Texas. So this kid was going to school getting jumped, getting beat up by not just one, five people. Five motherfuckers jumping this kid, taking his money, all types of shit. Yeah, they're talking about, you know, they were just beating him up, taking all this shit, right? So imagine your kid. I don't have a kid yet, but I can't imagine, you know, my kid coming home from school and getting beat up. Like, yeah, the, I don't know, the, the anger. anger. Yeah, the anger that goes through your fucking mind. Right? Now, the real question is, did this incident, you know, that's been occurring over and over and over again, did was it aware, like, did the teachers know about this did the principal know about this did anybody try to help this kid that's right. the real question that's the big question and that's a question where people don't want to take accountability yet yeah you know because like i was telling you bro that there's a few situations i know like that that's happened one with me personally one with my boy but the one with me personally bro there was a kid I was having problems with. It wasn't no bullying shit, but we were having we were having issues to to the point where I already knew where it was going. <clears throat> so I went to the teacher. I'm like, "Yo, look, this kid, I'm gonna hit, end up fucking fighting. Like, we need to do something. Move my class. I'll come a different period. Something, whatever the fuck." The teacher w- didn't give a fuck. She was straight up like, "Nothing's happened yet, so I I can't do anything about it." I'm like, "All right, cool, bet." Talk to Mr. Myers. Fuck that name. A little fucking leprechaun motherfuckers. Anybody that went to Galaxy Middle School remembers that name. He was a fuck nigga. Went to him. Pretty much told me the same shit. No, well, has anything happened yet? All right, bet. Say no more. Now, when something fucking happens, I don't want to hear shit. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And if that's the case with this kid, nah. and he did that, He's in- I can't blame the fucking kid. Yeah. I'm not coming to school. Like, I have to come to school because my parents are like, oh, God, go to school, get your education, this and that. So I'm a kid. I'm, I'm, 
I have to do what the fuck my parents say. I'm coming to school. They're taking my fucking lunch money. I can't eat lunch. I'm getting beat the fuck up. I'm trying to fucking get some help somewhere. If yeah. he did. Yeah. If he did. And it, nothing's happening. So now I'm going to take it into my own hands. And you can't expect a fucking 17, 18 year old kid. Because even though you're 18, an adult by age, you're a fucking kid. Yeah. You, you can't go tell me the difference of an 18 year old and a fucking 17 year old. It, there's not much of a fucking difference. Yeah. They're still the same kind of basically. They're the fucking same yeah, in the mentality. The and the same size almost. You know what I'm saying? You know like it's I mean? all the same shit. Like yeah. they're fucking kids, bro. They're the same, they're the same age range. But if, you know what I'm saying? If, but it's like, but if he didn't say anything, and he just brought yeah, the gun he to just school, brought a gun to school, bro. That's even where the, this, even then, the even like he's wrong for that. For like, you should have went and told somebody before you did something. But the fact that he that he stood up, bro. Hey, listen, people can fucking kill me for this. I don't give a fuck. Shout out to him. Salute to him. Yeah. Because I will tell you what, bro. Nobody will ever fucking try it. Yeah. Again, yeah, no one. And sometimes that's what the fuck it takes. It takes extreme force to show you. Like I told you earlier, bro. It's like your mom when you're a fucking kid and she tells you no three times, and she's saying, "Sweetheart, don't do that. Yeah. Honey, don't do that. Baby, she don't shot, do that." He and shot. then when you fucking when you she finally hits you across your fucking head and says, "Yo, what the fuck is wrong with you? Stop that mm-hmm. shit." That's when you. That's when you learn. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It's the same shit. Sometimes, nigga, you need a spanking in life. Yeah. And guess what? None of y'all are dead. So take that as a fucking lesson, because you could have been. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that ass. Hopefully, bro. And he shot all four. He's gonna he's gonna have to he's gonna have to go do some type of time. Yeah, and he might have to do like juvenile life till when he's like 25 or 21. Something, I forget. It might be dependent on the state. Yeah, but it's he like might a, have to go sit down for a couple of years because it's still yeah that's uh, that's serious. That's serious. Yeah, but especially on school campus. When too. it comes yeah, when it comes down to it, bro. You can't blame somebody for ultimately getting tired and fucking defending themselves and saying enough is enough. Yeah. Especially when it's five motherfuckers, Yeah, it's like four or five of them. It's It's like, like, damn, bro. Like, Because I'm going to tell you what, bro. As big as I am, if I'm walking down the street and five motherfuckers come and try and jump me, I'm going to pull up my weapon too. You're outnumbered, bro. You're going to lose that. It doesn't matter how fucking good. I swear, niggas swear that they're fucking Superman. They're all knock three of them out and then rumble with the last two. No, you fucking won't. One of them niggas going to catch you upside your fucking head from the back, bro. And you're going to be unconscious. Yeah, yeah, bro. Like, it's not that as easy as you fucking think. So, I mean, there's kids that are fucking killing themselves, bro. There's kids yeah, killing themselves because thing. it's like, yo, like, you know, a lot of kids don't even get to defend themselves. They get to the point where they're just like, they don't even want to go to school. They don't even want to continue life. Everybody's not. Yeah. Everybody. Some kids are passive, meaning that they're not going to go fight. They're not going to go take a gun to school and do something to somebody else. They'll do it to themselves. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And that's the sad part, too. Yeah. So let us know. Show me the clip, bro. His mom said that shit, too. Yeah. Like, yeah. That, it could have been the outcome. Yeah. He could have fucking took that gun and used we're, it on himself. We're not agreeing with the gun situation. That's At what all. they said. No. They're like, you yeah. know, they don't agree with that whatsoever. And, you know, glad that nobody died. You know what I mean? Yeah. But this is a lesson that's going to be learned. God like, bless. Yeah. And I hope it's a lesson that other kids fucking learn. Yeah. I hope other kids look at it like, yo, maybe I'm going to chill out with this bullying shit because I could get shot too. Yeah. Or maybe, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, yeah, that's it. I'm that, telling you, He's going like, to leave a stamp on that on that school. I'm like, Nobody's going to try him again. I'm or telling no you, one's going to try anybody else, I, I don't think. Like, yeah, like at that point, because who knows? Like, you know, unless they start bringing fucking uh, metal detectors, because some some schools got that. They might, bro. They might. But yeah. But listen, that's man. That's it, guys. I'm gonna tell you. Let what. us know though. Let us know in the comments. Yeah, let us like, know what you think about it? the situation, man. Let us know. But listen, we appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit that like button. Leave a comment. Go down in the description. Get yourself a little merch. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever, man. Yeah, but get look, it, man. We appreciate you. We love you. And don't forget to tell somebody you love them. Peace and love, peace and love, peace and love.